Hey, what's up? CGTV here, and today I'm gonna unbox this brand new iPad Pro. In my last video, which I actually bring down all the gift cards to to the Apple Store and get this purchase. Yeah, it's been a while since um I upgrade my iPad. I own an iPad, which is an iPad 2, and I think this is a very uh, great investment for it because uh, this Pro version. You can do a lot of um, editing. Photoshop's desktop app will be coming down to the iPad. So I'm really, really excited for this. I know I'm a bit late, but I just want to share a bit. This is my first time doing the unboxing for tech review. Hope I'm able to share with you guys um, some useful information. Without further ado, let's check it out. This is the biggest redesign for iPad very similar to the iPhone X debut a year ago. There is no home button and touch ID, but we get the HUH display along with face ID. We have two sizes to pick from, the 11 inch and 12.9 inch. Both are available in space grey and silver. They started from the HDD 1199 and also 12.9 version 1499. And both with four different capacity to choose from. They can be super expensive with max, max capacity so I purchased the mid-range 12.9 inch iPad Pro I believe it's powerful enough for me to handle some of the work that I do so first up we have the paperwork inside there's this quick start guide warranty and some information and a set of white apple sticker the guide highlights the major features and some of the new ways you interact with the iPad if you get the iPad with LTE you'll get the SIM ejection tool in the bottom of the box, we will find a bunch of new accessories for the brand new iPad such as a 18 watt travel charger, USB Type-C and of course they also included the, the compatible USB-C charging cable. During the setup, the iPad Pro will prompt you to set up the Face ID for the first time. Just like the iPhone, it uses 3D mapping sensor to scan your face. Once everything is done, you are good to go. Now, the new iPad Face ID works a little different and that's because it works in any orientation. That means that it works either portrait mode or landscape orientation. You can hold it upside down. It doesn't matter where your camera is as long as it can see your face. There's some things that you need to know about. For example, when you handle this in landscape orientation, you'll most likely be blocking the camera. So the iPad will prompt you to remove the obstruction so you can scan your face. If the camera is positioned on the bottom, you will be instructed to look down. Either way, it will work extremely quickly to unlock your iPad. The True Depth camera system is very similar to the iPhone X, XS and XR. So it uses infrared illuminator and dot metric projector to map your face in real time. The new 12.9 inch model has its refresh size compared to its previous generation. The bezel all around are much smaller and more accessible than the previous version. It's much compact and it's more easy to carry it around. Similar to the iPhone XR, the iPad Pro also gets the liquid retina display basically means the corner of the display are rounded using variety of technique and software technique so they are using anti-aliasing and pixel masking technology to make sure that the corner are rounded off the pixel density of 264 and still using an LCD display with maximum brightness of 600 nit consistent with other Apple devices. The most impressive display technology is the Pro portion. The display has a refresh rate of 120Hz, that's twice the refresh rate of any other de Apple devices. This is the only devices that gets it. The 12.9 inch has a 2732 by 2048 resolution, basically to achieve the retina pixel density of 264. Calling Siri now is holding the power button as there's no home button in the new iPad Pro. In terms of microphone, for example, there are five of them. One at the camera, two at the top edge, and one next to the Face ID camera, and the other one is on the other edge. 
that brings us the stereo sound for the first time for video recording. All of these comes with a set of quad speaker and once again they have been re-engineered by far the best audio output for the devices that is so small. Not only louder but sharper than they were before. This time the iPad has also lost the headphone jack but gained USB type C by replacing lightning. So it opens up a wide variety of possibility in terms of connecting accessory. Now you can charge your iPhone from your iPad or other smaller devices thanks to USB Type C. You can also plug on external storage, but you are limited in terms of what you can import after its iOS. You can also output to 5K display over a single USB C timer. Most of the time, you are just going to mirror your iPad for movie or presentation purposes. In terms of performance, iPad Pro gets a huge boost from the new A12X Bionic CPU. This is the same 7 nanometer architect from the iPhone XS and XR. Battery life you should get around 10 hours of web surfing over Wi-Fi. The camera has the same specs as the one in iPhone XR. It's 12 megapixel with f1.8 aperture. There are no optical stabilization, but there is still electronic image stabilization. The iPad Pro now supports to 4K 60 frames per second. Also, the image has included HDR. There is also the 7 megapixel front facing camera with f2.2 aperture. In terms of choosing size, both of them have the same specs and battery life. It's not much different besides the point, price point and personal preferences. The reason I get the 12.9 inch is that there are much more workspace for me to work around. And I'm really really excited for the future Photoshop to be in here. So if I were to categorize, I would say get the big one if you are intending to do a lot of work on designing, editing, and if you want to do it as your main workstation. So get the small one if you're intended to just uh, move around. And the smaller version, of course, uh, is easy to carry around, has some workspace, and you can save some money from there. So all right, guys, hope you enjoyed the first look of the iPad Pro and my first time introducing the tech review. So if you did, please let me know with a like. And I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you.